Hey there folks, so today I have this game Contradiction, which is a full motion video game. Um, I guess since you're just getting started, a couple of things from, you know, for the one person that's watching right now, wherever that may be, a couple of uh, housekeeping information, oh, now there's zero people watching, okay, so I guess I'm just talking to myself, but that's fine because somebody will watch it on the replay. First of all, um, I passed uh, 500 subscribers after the last stream, so thank you very much to all the subscribers and all the people who watch this channel, and uh, it means a lot, and uh, try to, I'll try to make it even better going forward. Um, part of that is uh, actually releasing some non-live streams, some real videos. Hey, Ryan, how's it going, man? <laughs> I'm sorry to pull you off from Mark's stream, because I was enjoying that too, but... Uh, I can't be on everyone's stream, unfortunately. Jeremy st was streaming as well. So another different FMV game, so... Um, yeah, so I was just saying, you know, I just passed 500 subscribers, so thanks to all the great subscribers and all the loyal, really, you know, super viewers like Ryan here. I appreciate it very much. And uh, I'll try to keep, keep keep the good work up. Second of all, I did want to mention, um, for the folks who watched the, trans the Transylvania stream, I did find that I have these Transylvania hints... Um, I, I found him lying around, and like if you could sort of see, um, everything is like this sort of cipher. So if you want to look at the hints, you have to like read this, you know, cyphergram and translate it. So they make it a pain in the butt. But I did look at um, the the clue about the elixir, excuse me, which if you remember, if you remember from playing that game, we had to find that grate that was behind the gravestone. It was like impossible to find, and it just says like, where's the elixir? It says, have you, have you examined the graveyard is the first clue. And the second clue is, was it a moving experience for you or something like that? So there's a hint that you're supposed to move something, but I mean, there's, there, it wasn't clued in any way, basically. It's just trial and error. So maybe to get you to send away for these hints, which are not that easy to find, but I did, I did find a copy of it. So I was going to mention that as well. So Contradiction, it's a full motion video adventure game from 1995. I actually backed it on Kickstarter. And they looks like they're never going to send the, the physical rewards that they promised. So they did send me a Steam key. The way I, I revisited this was that uh, Jeremy, who's one of the viewers on this, one of the regulars on this on this channel, he mentioned a game called of, De of Dead of Night or something like that, which is a full motion video game. When I looked into that one, I realized that that was the second game made by these same guys. And that game was like, I don't know, 15 or 20 bucks on Steam right now. But this game I already own, so I figured, let me try it. We'll see if it's any good, and uh, without further ado, let's jump into the intro of this, and you'll see what's going on in this game. Kickstarter, the master of false promises. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> All right, let's. Is, let me know if the video or the audio is okay. Uh, let me know if my camera is, is like centered properly, whatever. Let's kick off the intro here. My name is Jenks. Detective Inspector Frederick Jenks, and I've been assigned to a last-minute investigation into the death of Kate Vine, a PhD student found drowned at second. midnight last Friday something. in a lake oh, in the woods on the outskirts of the Sorry. tiny village of Edenton. I have until first thing tomorrow morning to decide whether her death was a simple accident or whether this was murder. Kate Murder. Vine appeared to the world to be a bright, confident, fun-loving PhD student with everything to live for. However, a history of depression and alcoholism revealed in her medical records suggests that in reality, she had become adept at hiding behind a mask. A lab report indicating a high level of alcohol in her blood, along with the late hour of her death and a lack of witnesses, makes a strong case that this was suicide. But the verdict overlooked some curious details. Why was her driving license found on the opposite side of the lake in which she drowned? Also, there were traces of morphine in Kate's system. Where did she get it? Where did she Kate get was it? known to be a free spirit with a nihilistic love of danger, which may, in part, have something to do with a business course called Atlas. Trying to talk too Kate much. Which Kate joined and which she had been attending on the night of her death. Based in a large, stately home on the outskirts of the village, the exclusive Atlas is run by father and son team, Paul and Ryan Rand. Both were interviewed following Paul Kate's Rand. death, but neither like claimed Paul. to have seen Kate after the meeting, and both were understandably eager to distance themselves and Atlas from the tragedy. 
This isn't the first time that Atlas has been investigated. Atlas and their questionable methods, which many have suggested border on mind control. Ryan is married to Rebecca, landlady of Edenton's village pub, the George and Dragon. As yet, she hasn't been interviewed, though it's likely Kate visited the pub on more than one occasion. One of Kate's friends was Emma Bowman, who lives at Eden Lodge on the road leading out of Edenton Village. Okay. Emma was also a PhD at the same university, but <laughs> didn't attend Atlas. Interviewed after Kate's death, Emma seemed shocked and it upset, seems like a cold. insisting she hadn't seen Kate that night. However, it turned out her boyfriend had. Simon Thompson met Emma that at university. Bad. Her boyfriend had seen her. After him. completing his degree around 18 months ago, he went to work at a shop in the neighboring village. He started at he the looks like a real loser. a few months ago. Simon insisted that he didn't see Kate after the meeting, but the sergeant interviewing him noted he seemed oddly unruly by her death, which makes him the first person I want to see tonight. It's time for some answers. <coughs> for some reason, the click to exit didn't work. That guy does not seem like a very dashing private investigator. First thing I do is turn the subtitles on so that um, maybe we actually, if I'm talking over the video, we'll still be able to read it. Uh, click on case background info. There's a little bit of detail here. She looks very fake, by the way. She looks like she was generated by like that that, that fake face app on, on the internet. I don't know. She just her face is too symmetrical. It's just weird. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm crazy, but <laughs> she looks fake to me. Um, She's a PhD student, drowned at midnight, high level of alcohol in her bud, tastes of morphine. The origin of the morphine remains a mystery. It's like, where did she get the morphine? Hmm. Here's Atlas, the, the self help group. I hate his hat, Ryan says. The self help group, or whatever that was, run by father and son team, Paul and Ryan Rand. They neither, they, she was in a meeting that night, but they didn't see her afterwards. Yeah, she does, doesn't she? I, I, isn't that weird, Ryan? I, she looks fake. These guys look real. Look like some some like losers that like live around the corner from the guy who made the game or something. Rumors have been circulating for years writing outlets and their questionable methods, which may have suggested board, which many have suggested border on mind control. And so this is Ryan, I guess the, one of the guys running Rand is this is his wife. She's the landlady of the pub. She's not been interviewed yet. Given Kate's alcoholism, it's likely she visited the pub more than one occasion. Was she actually an alcoholic, or she just like was like a normal person? And then one of her friends was this lady. This lady picture they put out this guy. This guy look. This guy looks like the type of guy. I'm sorry to say this, and please don't take this the wrong way. The type of guy you want to like hit. <laughs> he just looks really like annoying. But okay, uh, this is her boyfriend, who she, Kate was cheating on with him. I'm guessing or something like that. I don't know. So I was claiming he didn't see Kate after the meeting, but seemed unmoved by her death. So she, so she's not an Atlas, but this guy is. All right. And there's instructions too. So, basically, it's like a point and click. It reminds me of that game we played, tw 12 mil, or whatever that game was called, but there's actually an inventory and you could do stuff. And the, But the, the main premise of this game is supposed to be like these contradictions. You interview people and you get them to um, say something which is not true, that you can prove it wrong based on something else they said or something in your inventory, and then you call them out of the contradiction. So it's like seems like similar to... <laughs> I'm just laughing at you, Ryan. Looks like his name was Chad. You call it, you call them out of the contradictions, and then that's how you progress the story. Like similar to Felix Wright, it seems like. Uh, but we have to actually play this so we can see. And Dovin says he looks like one of those guys. Thinks he's really smart and better than everybody. Yeah, essentially, yes. All right. So let's. Uh, oh, there's a cheat also. If you're really stuck, try a cheat. This will give you a big clue. We'll add to your cheat count. So try not. So try not to use too many. We try not to use too many. You proofread your games. All right, let's start the game here. Uh, save game one. Okay, start game. I have to, I have to skip this this time. My name. Is I'm not gonna watch it again. All right. So for some reason, it takes me to the pub here. I started playing this for a two seconds just to see if it's working, which it was. So, you know, it's you see here. I can. Was it? Where's the inventory icon? Uh. Which is inventory? This thing? Oh, that's the map. Oh, here's the inventory. So I have right now Kate's driving license. I guess it was made in England because the way they spelled license. And then Kate finds death is maybe some something I can talk about. But yeah, she's not. You know, she's not in the game. I guess because she's dead. So I bet you that is a fake a fake face that they made because there's no need to have an actual FMV actor if it's, if it's the person's dead. 
So they're probably just like, you know what, we'll just uh, just make up a fake face for her. Uh, that's, I'm betting that's what that is. All right, so this is the pub where um, the uh, that woman, um, the wife of that guy who runs that Atlas place works. But I want to, it's, in the, in the video he said the first thing he wants to do, I think, is interview the, the boyfriend or something. That's what Siri looks like. Yeah, you're probably right. So why am I here? Why did he come to here if he wants to interview the boyfriend? Uh, where the hell, okay, so here's Abby Farm, Paul and Ryan Rand. The body was found here. Here's Atlas. Eden Lodge, Simon and Emma. So I'm going to go here, right? Or may I go to where the body was found or something? Let me let me go here first. I don't know why they put, took me to that place. Go right to Eden Lodge. Imagine the detective is a killer and is insane or something. It's not like the other game I played, the Alaska game. All right, so knock for Simon. Is it Simon? He looks nicer Detective here. Inspector Jenks, I'm investigating an incident in the village. Could I come in and ask you a few questions, please? Um, yeah. He's okay. actually a, he's actually a police officer. It seems like he's not just like a. Hate that. <laughs> I think he's bald, so he has to wear a hat. Go through here. Up. If you want, uh, Emma's working in the front room. Oh, hello. Uh, this is Inspector James. Is, is, Jenks. That doesn't look like her. There was a death in the village. Kate Vine. I believe you both knew her. Yeah. Do you need to speak to both of us? Uh, I'll just speak to Simon first, if that's okay. I want to speak just to you too, though. That's definitely a Chad. <laughs> Is it okay in here? Oh, this will be fine, yeah. Do you want anything? Water? No, 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 I won't be long. Okay. <sighs> okay. My first interview. First pick that I want to ask about that ask to see... Jenks ask about it. Okay. Contradictions appear here and here. Okay. Click any item you've already asked about. Show summary of replies. Click any reply to add to the contradiction box on the right. You can add two replies at a time. I can start looking for contradictions. Find two contradictory replies and add to the contradiction box. If they go green, sit back and watch Jenks interrogate your interviewee. Alright, let's talk about Kate Vine's death. When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? Um, so last Friday's meeting, I think. Did you see her after the meeting? No. The cop All looks like known, Kate. Look, he doesn't seem very really businesslike. He's we like smiling Atlas. and stuff. Three months ago. Did you socialize outside Atlas? No. No, it's How just you sleeping with her. her? Uh, what sort of person was she? Well, she's talented. Uh, she was full of life, you know. Not anymore. Sharp, quite sharp. Would you say she had the knife I use is quite sharp too? She, her mood, her mood could change, and well, there was the drinking problem. When did you become aware of that? Well, she would come drunk to was, meetings. When she came sometimes. to my house every day, that's what I noticed. It. And she would reek of the stuff. I mean, everyone knew, but nobody really said anything. So, tell me a bit about Atlas. Oh, it's just a business management training program for postgrads. Sure, that's all it is. And you started this after you left college. Uh, yeah. And it's on every Friday? Yeah, well... What's with the looks on this guy's face, this the detective? Of, uh, he, like, the looks like he thinks okay. it's very funny or something. That's it? Okay. So that so it gives you, gives you the, 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 this, this, the stuff here. Oh, so if I, if I like, uh, think something's a contradiction, then I can ask him about it? That guy's white hair. He looks like a young stew. A young stew? <laughs> Heck with you, Ryan. Did you know whether Kate had lost this? Diet Pepsi, Ryan. No. No, I don't think so. I've never seen it before. Yeah, I don't think I have anything really to, to like do anything about with him because, you know, I don't have any information yet. Let me go visit Emma. Thank you. Probably be back later. Don't worry, it's only a few questions. Yeah. Okay. So same thing, I guess. When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? It was last Thursday in the college library. 
Um, I saw her and we chatted for a bit. She seemed her usual self. What was her usual self? Okay. Oh, just Kate being Kate. You know, a bit wild. Wild? What way wild? What's the smile this guy has? I don't understand. Oh, What's, why you smile like that? You know. It's like, aha, oh, really? Ha like ha. What else? What else? Mm, what do you tell me Kate about it? had a drink problem. A drink problem. How uh, noticeable was that? Look, look at him. He looks, well, he looks like he's like but some kind of ulterior motives. I don't get it. She'd be drunk in the afternoon. <laughs> like a British father. But I think she cut down, you know, towards the end of the afternoon. She's like a, she's a real she alcoholic and she's drinking like during the day and getting drunk in the afternoon. I didn't see Kate very often. What about Kate's driving license? <laughs> like he's on drugs or something. Yeah, he does. He seems like something off with him. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? <laughs> Mr. Jinx. Um, I don't know, but I, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, that was that's not very helpful. All right, we got to go find some actual real information. I, I don't. I mean, I don't see how like um, this this doesn't seem very helpful to me. Is Kate a real person or is she a computer generated uh, picture? Moment. Thank you. Thank you. Best to knock on the window for Emma. Simon always answers the front door. Oh, that's good to know. All right, well, I'm, I'm, I'm contrary to Woods Lane for right now. Um, where else should I go here? So I should probably go check out, like, where the body was found, right? Maybe there's some clues or something here? Can I... It's supposed to be like you could get a magnifying glass and there's something to investigate. Go to the jetty. Oh, here's a magnifying glass. It's like a piece of jewelry there, stuck between the boards. Well and truly wedged in. Hmm. So I need to get like some kind of tool to pry it out or something? Should I want to see something? Like. I can't like use like the inventory, right? Oh, that's sorry, that was the hint. I didn't mean to cross the hint. Click to try using this. No, there's no use for Kate's lost draw. I thought maybe I could like wedge it in like in the crack and get out that piece of jewelry, but I guess that's too intelligent for this. Uh, let's go right into the woods. I'm not sure what I'm trying to do here. Right into the clearing. No, nothing here. I don't think. Let me go back to the map. Um, what did the hint say, by the way? I wasn't even paying attention. It said, search, it said search in the woods or something. Did it, did it say that? Let me, let me try. I oh, you know what the hell is that? I'm just going to go back to the pub, first of all. Maybe she's, maybe she's here now. Wow, this is a really lousy pub. It's like after 5 p.m., the light is on, and there's nobody there. What the hell is the point of that? Right, let me just walk around in that case. Uh, Branded house. I don't know what this is. There's no reason for me to be here, apparently. This guy's just wandering around. The time is still just as Friday after 5 p.m. It's so weird how it looks close to the map every time, too. What's this call the chief? Oh, there's a telephone there. Like Doctor Who. Hello, Chief. It's me, your worst detective, Mr. Jenks. I haven't answered the phone. Where's the plan? <laughs> Hit them with a nice ticket to Lincoln Fest. But Ryan, you see, I understand your confusion, but this is a UK based game, apparently. In the U.S., those those would certainly be the options, but not in the U.K. I guess the chief after 5 p.m. on Friday is not at work, so we can't call him. What the hell's the point of that? All right, let's keep on going. All right, the West Street ends. There's nothing here at all. So I just wasted my time walking here. Why can't I go to, like, uh, Paul and Ryan Rand? I guess there's no reason to go there yet, so it won't let me go. I'm just going to jump back to here. I can't go to the post office either, apparently. Like, right? Yeah, oh, so I'm showing the, now it's, it's, I'm facing the other direction, which is interesting. 
But I can't actually do anything differently, I don't think. <laughs> that would be amazing. Alright, let's go scroll this way. I'll go There's a British flag. Continue ahead along the path. Go right along Woods Lane. Let's continue ahead along the path. By Eaton Village Hall, but I can't do anything here. This, oh, there's this a magnifying glass. Hold on. What's this? A key? Nice to randomly find a key on the floor. Yeah, it could be for anything. Like, why would you pick up some random key? A random key that you find is not in, in a real life. A random key will never work on anything useful. If you're a policeman, you can't get a hold of your chief. Would you be concerned? Yeah, I probably would. Except this guy, this guy seems like he's like the worst police officer ever. So, all right, let's go left along Woods Lane. All right, so I was already here. Imagine it's some guy's fridge. Let's go along the path to the right. I'm confused which way I went already before. Oh, I didn't go here yet. There's nothing here, apparently. Go back to the junction. Alright, let's go ahead into the woods. Rosenbaum Lake. Uh, maybe I can use the key to get the thing out of the floor. I mean, it doesn't make any sense, but I'll try it anyway. Uh, this is the inventory. There's no use for the key. I can at minimum go back and ask those people if they know what the key is, but they're probably just going to say no, I have no idea. <laughs> I need to see some identification. Is that guy a real policeman? I don't think he is. Let's go towards Atlas. Enter Atlas grounds. Enter the Atlas building. <laughs> I have to come back later, I think. Maybe this is the key. I mean, if it is, it's pretty silly, but... Let's try that. No, there's no use... See... It should show at least him trying, not like, uh, just, get, you know, doesn't even bother to try. It says, there's no use for the silver key here, sorry. Alright, what was the point of that, then? Okay. Continue to the last junction. Did I, did I miss something? I don't think so. Go right to Woods Lane. It's always funny people recognize keys. He showed keys to my own house. I would have no idea if I key until I tried it. Well, sometimes you have like some design on your key or something, but aside from that, I agree. Oh, wait, I have a magnifying glass here. Maybe it was there before and I didn't notice it. Very trusting, leaving a bike unlocked. Looks like homebrew equipment. Oh, some beer. Homebrew equipment? Is he making Nintendo uh, games? This might come in handy. What's that, like a screwdriver to open up an NES cartridge? That's what it looks like. I have a screwdriver like that right here. Yeah, this is like the same thing. So what, what did I get? Uh, oh, oh, so I have a box of... I can ask them about these things. A screwdriver. Unlocked bicycle. Alright, so these are all things I can now ask these two people about. Let me go into Simon and ask him about all the, like, hey, I was investigating, you don't mind. snooping in your house, and I decided to ask you about your unlocked bicycle. It isn't worth asking Simon about the silver key. That's like, I don't want to record the video for this, so just don't bother. Which is the bike outside? Oh, that's my cousin's. He lent me it. Uh, I need to buy a new lock for it, though. So it's your bike at the moment. Yeah. Well, I didn't take yeah, the bike, Colter um, Dorman. How's it going? To speak of around here, so it's really the only way I to think he around. stole someone's bike. Bike is the only way Simon can get to work. Why? Like it's not that far. Where do you work? It's not worth asking Simon about the screwdriver. I noticed a lot of bottles outside. Are they yours? Yeah, I'm at home room. For yourself? Well, no, I give it out to my friends and stuff. I tried selling it at first, but I didn't have any takers, except for James over at Farmhouse. I used to trade it to him for for herbs and stuff. Herbs? You see James a lot. Not herbs, herbs? No, not really. Simon told James about his homebrew. Okay. So it tells you what he says here. Right, let's go visit Emma. Be back later on, if that's okay. 
This guy's like Columbo. He's like, oh, one more thing. Uh... Who's this the bike outside? Oh, it's Simon's cousins. He uses it to get to work. At least they have the he same answer. Oh, I know. I keep telling him to fix it. Okay. Screwdriver. Not worth asking about it. What's the stack of bottles outside? These oh, such random Simon. questions. So ask him, like, they do, like, what does it do with the murder? What did they be like? Why are you asking about my bottles? That has nothing to do with anything here. Like, have you ever tried Simon's homebrew? Me? <laughs> no, I don't like beer. I only drink wine. I can't stand spirits either. Typical woman. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, all right. So, so what? A stack of bottles. It was like five bottles. You're right. It's like it's not even like anything to notice. Nothing suspicious at all. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. That wasn't like so what? Um, can I use like I mean like okay? <laughs> Should I try to use the screwdriver on the uh, on the what's it called on the uh, on that gate? I don't see why that would work. Maybe the pub is open now? <sighs> wow. The worst freaking pub. I guess it's homebrew, like, you know... You don't need to have a pub, because he's selling homebrew to everybody. I still don't even know why, why I'm behind... What's Brandon House, and why am I behind it? This guy sucks. He can't, like, knock on the door of, like, some place and be like... There's the police, let me in. This probably won't work either, but I'll try it again. Oh, maybe I can use a screwdriver to get that thing out of the out of the floor. That's probably what it's for. Forget you, forget you, Chief. I don't need you. I'm gonna go to the uh, that thing on the floor. <clears throat> go to the jetty. Okay, let's use the screwdriver. There we go. Ooh, it's some jewelry. Where's the pawn Just, shop? I thought forensics had checked the whole area. Obviously not very well. Let's go pawn this and make some money. Actually, it looks like it's made. Looks like it's like worth like a, a penny. Okay, let's go back straight away. It's using British slang. Let's straight away go back. It looks. It looks like a, that looks like some rubbish actually. Let's go straight away back to Simon and Emma and see if they have any other information for us here. Guy's a real tosser, if you ask me. A uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. Recognize this at all? Hmm. It does remind me of something. Yeah, the time that I killed that girl, know. and like, and I, and I I've threw seen her body in the though. lake. That's what it reminds me of. <laughs> it's COVID. They're in lockdown. I vaguely recognize the necklace. Let's go visit Emma. Thank you. Probably be back later. Probably back later. Every five minutes, I'm coming back. Ever seen this? <laughs> yeah, this guy really out of my ass. Like, exactly. Uh, that's my old necklace. I gave this to Kate. Oh, so okay. Kate might have been wearing it last Friday. Yeah, well, look, perhaps. Look how excited he looks. Like, she was always buying new things. You Kate might be wearing it last Friday. <laughs> It's meant to be a bird in cage, but the cage's fallen off. Oh, I'll show you. I show you. Where did you buy it? I didn't. Some wanted present. Secret admirer. Mm. She That's got it the wanted present and she passed it along to her friend. That's nice. See. That's how it should have looked. It's called a freedom necklace. Do you mind if I keep this? No, not at all. Tell me who you got it from. So the necklace did belong to Kate. Interesting. Well, Stop Alex Jean. Spare evidence bag. I wish I had a spare evidence bag. This guy would like, like get out of my house. Can I see a badger? Right? Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't understand like why why he's playing along with this guy unless he's really completely innocent and he just doesn't give a damn. Uh, okay, so I have freedom necklace card now. Thank let, you. Let me ask Probably the other guy about it. Why does why as well since I'm already here? Oh, he hasn't asked... Okay. You should ask about the freedom necklace rather than the pendant. Okay. You know what this is? 
Yeah, that's yeah. why. Beep. Yeah, I think I'ma have one like it. Actually, you know what? Kate had one. I remember because I asked her about it one night when we were all out drinking in college. Look at the look on his face. Drunk. What is with the look that's on his what face? Is all about. Sorry, I can't just get over it. Like the, the the main actor of this game, the acting is so bad. The way he keeps looking like like, huh, like, hmm. I mean, like, who makes faces like that? Thinks Emma had a similar necklace. Kate wore the necklace at college. Is there any ca contradictions yet? I mean, like, this whole game is contradictions. Like, I'm supposed to, like, be dragging stuff in here. Oh, it's not even working. Okay, that now it worked. I just clicked on it. Ta-da! That's a contradiction! Like, no, it isn't. It has to turn green. Like, I don't... I'm not aware of anything really uh, contradictory yet in this... in anything here. Um... Oh, wait a second. He said he met her at the, um... Actually, he did, there was a contradiction, because he said he met her at the, um... At the, at the Atlas meeting. He didn't know her in college. Right? Oh, let's try that and see what happens. Aha! It's green. So how did you know Kate was wearing a freedom necklace Aha. 18 months ago? Aha! Well, I, I knew... Ah, uh -huh. we got you with the handcuffs. Uh, so, so we start to ask. Where's my gun? Right. So you didn't socialize with her at college, no. and you didn't socialize with her outside of Atlas. Uh, no. You no. didn't see her outside. Atlas. Now he seems very like suspicious. Um. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. 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 Uh -huh. Okay, that's that advanced the plot a little bit here. So right. Simon did know Kate at college, but why would he lie about that? Maybe he knows Kate better than he's willing to admit. Uh -huh. Six o'clock. I wonder if Rebecca's mm. working in the room tonight. All right, one second. I need I need to refill here. I'll, I'll be right back. Hang on one sec. guys in the chat are funny. Alright, so now let's finally go and obey the pub as it opens since it's after 6 p.m. now. Alright. I like the door. Starting his interview already. Uh, let's see. Press the bell. Sorry, what can I get you? Detective Inspector Jenks. Rebecca, is it? Yeah. Mm. There's been an uh, incident in the village. I'm conducting an investigation. Could I ask you a few questions, please? Right. Doesn't look too happy about it. Come through. What's it about? There's been an unexplained death locally. Not I sure feel like it's had either, this actually. Thing? Yes. Yes, it was dreadful news. You're married to Ryan, one of the Atlas leaders, That looks yes? worse now, I think. I suppose I am, yes. Well, I just wanted to ask a few questions about Kate and Atlas, if that's okay. I don't know if I'll be able to answer. Why is he asking her husband, instead of asking sure. your husband? I don't really get that. But I guess we can ask about every single thing now. We have a new, a new victim. What do you think about this Did fake picture? Not, not very well. She came in a few times, but she was quite a moody person. What were you going to say? She had problems. When was the last time you saw her? Friday. She popped in for a minute. And when was that? Uh, Seven-ish. Was she on her own? <laughs> I 
I didn't see you. She was I think he just bells pulse. Twenty pounds on the bar, and then uh, probably right. What was that for? <laughs> That's a fine. breakage, presumably. Twenty pounds, just for a beer glass. <laughs> well, she was very drunk. She just put it on the bar and then walked out. Was That's there weird. a broken glass? Not that I noticed. <coughs> but she was a strange girl. Okay. I guess I can't contradict what she says with anybody else says. I clearly, there's only internal contradictions here. Have you seen this before? <clears throat> no, sorry. Well, you guess so you don't, you you don't car anybody? Well, you don't car your people no, to walk in? You don't never saw ID? What the hell is, how is that possible? How can you not have seen ID if you're the bartender? <sighs> I, don't, I don't buy that. It's not worth asking her about the key. It's unlikely she'd know about the bike. It's not worth asking about the screwdriver. She wouldn't know about the bottles. But she might know about his homebrew. Know anything about Simon Thompson's homebrew? Does he make homebrew? Apparently. No, we do buy from a microbrewery, but we don't usually buy from kitchen breweries. Probably a good idea. Okay. Broken pendant. Ask about the freedom necklace rather than the broken pendant. Do you recognize this? I've seen students wearing them. It has some sort of meaning, doesn't it? I forget what it is now. Seen anyone wearing one recently? Not that I can remember. Hmm. Okay. That's literally all that there is. Is there anything? Is there anything I can? Like I think it's BS. You wouldn't have seen your license. But I don't know if there's anything to contradict that with. Nope. That doesn't work. But I guess she wouldn't see your license if she came in drunk, but it doesn't make sense you wouldn't see your license. But maybe I'm just being overly, you know, whatever. All right, let's exit. That's all for the moment. Thank you. I'll come back soon. All right, let's go to the, the restaurant. They have some clues here or something. Apparently there's no clues here. But there was an option to go behind the restaurant, behind the bar. Brilliant drinking is cool, yeah. All right, let's leave the pub for now. We'll be back soon. Ah, uh, yeah, just uh, one more thing. Uh, let's get down behind the pub. <laughs> what's he doing? Looking at the trash. What's he carrying anyway? Like, what's in that? What's in this this backpack? We cool things seem like it's window. shot in the head or something. It smashed by the look of it. Might have Ooh. to ask about that. Oh, that's interesting. How'd the window get broken? Maybe she gives 20 pounds to cover the window. Enter the out building? What's like the outhouse? What is, what is the out building? Hmm. Hmm. Let's grab my key. Drop silver key. All right! Is a messenger bag? Yeah, I guess that's what it is. I mean, I don't know why he's a police officer carrying a messenger bag. So what is this? The outbuilding. What's an outbuilding? Does anybody know what an outbuilding is? <laughs> Hope you have a warrant. This is England. We don't need a warrant. Oh, this is Atlas on it. Uh oh, we found some Wonder evidence of their freakish activities. Rebecca's or Ryan's? Or maybe nobody's. Maybe it's. Oh, he's just gonna steal it. <laughs> he took it. <laughs> okay. Let's investigate behind the shelves. Just looks like junk, but it's too dark to tell. Hmm. I need a flashlight or something. Fortunately, I don't have anything like that yet. I don't think I have a flashlight. Yeah, I just have screwdrivers and stuff like that. Can I drink the screwdriver? Cardboard mask. <laughs> so use for the cardboard mask here. The 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 uh, inf the interface reminds me of uh, 
of that other game, that 7 mil, whatever it's called. Every bit of evidence you find you can't use, you can't be in there. Yeah, well this is like not a real investigation apparently. I like the full motion video though. Let's go back inside and let's, let's start questioning her about stuff we shouldn't know about. Ring the bell. I'm here, questions, I'm here to bother friend. you again. Let's ask her about this. Do you know what this is? Oh, you'll have to ask Ryan about that. So this is Ryan's. It's to do with one of Ryan's methods on the course. <laughs> Go on. Well, hold on. Masks allow you to play it being someone different for a while. <laughs> Students find it quite liberating. So this would be for a student. Look at his face. I was kicking over his facial expressions. Yeah, uh, Colton Northern said, I'd be calling the police on this policeman. He's the most suspicious character in the sound. <laughs> I agree. All right, broken pub window. How did the window get broken out round the back? I don't actually know. Um, someone said two girls were arguing outside. I found out after they'd gone. And when was this? Last Friday, just after we opened, about half past six. I taped over it until I can get it fixed. We don't want people getting cut and suing us. Does that sort of thing happen a lot? Arguments? No, not really. <coughs> I'm quite strict when it comes to borrowing clients. I don't think are um, suitable. What does that mean? Be drunk, or you be like like people you don't like race, races you don't like and stuff like that. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, his expressions are so like off. Like he seems so off. I, I don't know. All right, let's let's uh, let's. This, she's stick about barring clients, but yet she, she was very drunk. That seems like it's a contradiction. Apparently not, though. She's not desirable, even though she's not. She's strict about. All right. Um. Can't get Rebecca for a breakage, and don't know who broke the window. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So, you said Kate gave you £20 for a breakage, but you didn't have a breakage. That's right. Do you think the payment could have been for the broken window? Could it have been Kate who was arguing? Well, I suppose it could have been, yeah. It's pretty obvious. Could isn't have it? been Kate, you're probably right, yeah. But you don't know who she was arguing with. No, I'm not sure. I'll ask around. Not realising Kate had broken the window. Rebecca really should have worked that out before now. Unless she did. But why would she lie about that? I have no idea. Alright, so I found some contradiction though. All right. Um, hey, Jeremy, how's it going? What did that mean? Did she gonna start talking about her all night long? I don't know. The expression. Be back later on, if that's okay. I thought maybe like the time will advance now that I found a contradiction. Maybe maybe not. I think I'm not done with her potential. Let me go back in and see if there's any other contradictions to find with that with her. It's so weird how he just like keeps on like harassing her. Like she's working. Any more questions, please. He just cut like more questions, please. I uh, I guess I have no choice. I mean, like, what are you do beat me or something? Uh, the mask is Ryan's. Window broken. I also want to ask about the time here. It's not really a contradiction, but it's it's a slight inconsistency. Didn't know Kate very well. Gave her for breakage. I also think it's weird that she says she let, doesn't let people in. But apparently that's not. I right, heard an argument to two girls outside. Tape her the broken window to make it safer. Rebecca straight out bar and clients. Tape her during an argument. Or so this this one got I guess got crossed out because it's not uh, it's like not showing up. It's like not highlighted anymore. So I guess she. She changed her mind. It's like from the the the, uh, the fugitive. Like, would you like to revise your statement, sir? What's that? Uh, he wants to know. She wants to know. Would you like to change your bullshit story, sir? That's basically what just happened. All right. So, is there anything else I can contradict? Yeah, I tried that array, David. It didn't work. Um, didn't know Kate very well. Less okay at the pub last Friday. Yeah, Jeremy, I'm sorry that I had to leave your live stream to start this live stream. I apologize. 
Um, didn't know Kate very well. I saw Kate at the pub last Friday. Didn't see who Kate was with. Kate was very drunk. Hadn't seen the license before. Doesn't know if Kate lost the license. I think nothing else here. The freedom necklace, she doesn't know what it is. I've seen hasn't seen anyone wearing one recently. Let's just maybe see if I can contract on that one. No, because it's possible she wasn't wearing the necklace, but I, I did want to try that. And... Okay, it's just asking Ryan about the mask. Why is, why is some of these highlighted green and some of them are blue? I don't know if that, what that's supposed to mean. The ones that are green mean something I can still ask about, and the Kate's arguments already been played out? Because I don't really know. Oh, I can't click on that even. The broken pub window has tons of stuff, and that's not green anymore, it's blue. Her argument, window broken, Taylor the broken window, super our clients, Kate broke the window during an argument. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna leave here. I don't think there's anything else I could do, unless someone else can think of something. Thank you. And Jeremy, Jeremy's later. played this already, so I'm not sure if he counts or not. <laughs> I need to get a flashlight so I can uh, investigate that back room. Somewhere there's probably a flashlight. Let me see if anything else opened up given that uh, the, the hour has changed. Uh, I still don't know why I'd want to go down the house there, or whatever that's called. Maybe call the chief is to get like a, a warrant or something, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Like it doesn't actually hang up, it doesn't actually get a busy signal, it just rings endlessly. Why does he have a cell phone? This is 2015. This is not like 1990. All right, that's not happening. I don't understand why he doesn't even have a cell phone. All right, this is a waste of time. There's nothing here. Let's use the map. No, let's use the map. So I go back to Atlas. Maybe this, that's open now. I doubt it, but I'll try. Oh, oh it's open now. Okay, there we go. I guess it's probably a meeting. Go into the atrium. Go for the restrooms. Yeah, the atmosphere is not bad. Ryan was interviewed in the lounge, according to the report. That must be his office. All right, so let's go to the lounge. Well, what does office be in the lounge? The lounge is usually like where people hang out, like to relax. It's not someone's office. I'll show the door on the right. It's like the bathroom, but it's the reading room. There's nothing here, though. That's disappointing. I came here, there's nothing here, I need to do. How is this door even locked? Like, I don't see a key, I don't see even, like, a handle on the door. I'll just push the door open. So I guess you can't do anything though. I can't go up the steps either. Turn to the hallway. That's bullcrap. So I came here and I can't do anything. I mean, I, I don't, I don't. Unless I can use one of my inventory items. Let me just, let me see if there's anything I can do. I don't think so. Maybe I can use her driver's license to break into the door. Nope, doesn't work. Screwdriver. Nope. Key we already know is not going to work. That's all that I really have. Interesting fact. What's interesting fact? I should. Wear, I don't wear my glasses. I think it's an interesting fart, for example, for, for a second. This guy needs to lose his badge. Well, he's he just walked into a place. Like, why is there nobody like no receptionist or anything here? It's just like. Uh, 
I don't like the fact they let me walk into some place and there's nothing here. That's very disappointing. Like, as a game player, that's like, that's a cardinal sin. Why is it opened up if I can't go there? Am I just to wa like, wander like, around aimlessly until I find something that changed? I mean, it seems like it. Nothing here. Nothing here, nothing there, nothing anywhere. Oh, wait a second. Now there's a dude sitting here. Looks like he's holding a bomb, like the detonator. Who is it? I'm a police officer, Detective Inspector Jenks. It's all right, you can carry on if you want to. I guess that's exactly what I was supposed to do, just wander um, around aimlessly. A, a death in the village, Kate Vine. <laughs> there was a death recently Hello. in the... It's like you went to Bowser's castle, there was no enemies well, nothing to do. Yeah, basically. A bit dark. A bit dark. Well, what, if you give me your name and address, I'll come later on. Where do you live? <laughs> and what's your name? I should be like, F off! Leave me alone! <laughs> like, you just let him go? Why don't you follow him? Farmhouse? Where's the farmhouse? Farmhouse! So I guess here, Abbey Farm. I might as well just actually walk, though, in case there's actually something else that I didn't see. That was really weird. Tim Fallon, who made this game, used to be... Tim Fallon made the game? That's interesting. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, Jeremy, before you joined, I was saying that, um... I, um... I bought this game on Kickstarter, and they never delivered the physical rewards, as far as I know. So, I'm not too thrilled about that. Ask you a couple more things, please. Let's ask him about some of the stuff that, that he doesn't, that we didn't ask him about yet so far. Do you know anything about a broken window at the pub? No, I don't really go to the pub very often. I'm not exactly a pub person. Okay. Uh, what about the mask? Since you, you're, you're an Atlas person. Have a look at this. Know anything about that? Have a look at this I haven't seen this one but it looks a lot like an atlas mask uh, we use them for some of the um, some of the workshops and stuff really well you um, a bunch of people Jeremy you say something uh, asked boastful, him or, on, or on kickstarter where the physical words he's not been responding with a mask and the point is well it's easier when you have the mask on isn't it People are not as afraid to be free about themselves, you know? I should try that. Do I have a mask over here? Well, it was advertised. Um, actually... I don't think I have a mask, unfortunately. I've still got the... Uh, <clears throat> What's a brochure? This is the advert that was at my college. Uh, to be honest, I've learned more in three months at Atlas than I did in three years at business school. Wow. Can I keep that? I should yeah, go to Atlas, go too. I suppose that might be useful as a conversational starter. Yeah, why not? Uh, what else we got here? Kate's argument. No, anything. <laughs> I need a shot task. Argument. Pub <laughs> last Friday. No, I didn't go to the pub last Friday. What did you do after the? Yeah, pub? You should, somebody should ask about this guy. Yeah. Where they found this actor? Can't step back. His eyes looked like a little bit shady there. Went straight home after Atlas last Friday. Is there anything about the argument? Did he say something that contradicted that before? Uh, I don't think so, but... I don't think he did, but I'm just going to double check here. <clears throat> he all there visits the pub. I don't know anything about the argument. All right, let's go visit Emma. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. To ask about this item, why not? What do you know about Atlas? Yeah, the guy playing Detective Jenks, he looks like a freak. He looks like a real weirdo. I know that it's, um, All of his expressions are, course. like, off. I went with Simon when he first went, but... And, and we're pretty sure the girl who went. plays the, the victim oh, is not a real you know? not a real person. Just the ones. So like like a generated me. face. Yeah, I've been to something similar, so I decided it wasn't for me. I used to be a member of the, uh, the Branch Davidian cult. And so I realized that Atlas probably wasn't for me. Uh, let's see. Kate's argument. 
Did you hear deliberately? About What's the artistic the uh, decision no, there, there by that, you Jeremy? Went to no, I went home last last Thursday night actually to see my parents. But you do visit the park. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I know Rebecca quite well. We we all went there quite a bit after college. She said before she saw, um, what's her name, on Thursday, but I don't know if it was Thursday night or Thursday or the day, in the college library on Thursday, so that's not Thursday, that's not Thursday night. Um, broken pub window. Know anything about a broken window at the pub around the back? <laughs> Ryan's not uh, by that. Um, a broken window at the back? Yeah, I saw it was broken. When was that? Oh. I was in the pub on Monday with a college friend. Ooh, that's a contradiction. It was broken on Monday. I mean, well, it's, I guess it was taped over. Did you say before she hardly ever goes to the pub? I guess I can't. Uh, I can't contradict her based on something that someone else said. Because. I mean, this is not really a contradiction of any kind. I'm just, just trying to see what happens here. Yeah, I mean, she could drink wine at the pub. But that, that seems weird because she would have to know about the pub when it was, uh, when it was, when it was already taped up. Because it happened on Friday, they said, right? Didn't see Kate often... Do you think you lost your driver's license? Tell Simon to fix the lock. Oz welcome to Simon. Doesn't like beer. Only really drinks wine. Eats spirits. Da, 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 da. Knows about the broken pub window. Oh, I didn't ask about the mask. Ever seen this before? Ever seen this before? Nope. I haven't. Sorry. I think I'd have remembered it. Hmm. Okay. And then she knows Rebecca quite well went to the pub after college. Yeah, I, I don't I can't think of any contradictions here. Again, if anybody in the chat has any knowledge or something I missed, let me know. But Thank I Thank you. Probably be back later. I don't think there's anything at this point. I think I have to find that dude who lives in the farmhouse. Turn to Woods Lane. Go back to North Road. I'll just go here for the heck of it. I mean, I shouldn't have to, but... Alright, nothing here. Oh, wait, there's something here. Hold on. Prove your spiritual, intellectual, wow. financial life. Isn't that interesting? Just every Friday at 8 to learn more. Alright, so I guess after... Uh, now it's 7. It's 6, so I have to wait like two more hours before I can go back here. The actor who plays him is in a few other FMV games on PS4 by Wales Interactive. Like, which which games, Jeremy? What do you guys think of this game so far? Jeremy, you said before that you thought it was, like, not as good as the other one, the second one they did, right? Uh, go left down West Street. Go left down West Street. According to the map, okay. Abbey Farm is across the road there. Before I couldn't go to Abbey Farm, but now I can. Love the visuals and music. Yeah, okay, I agree. What about, uh... It's pretty funny watching the bad acting. <laughs> Ring the doorbell. It's interesting doorbell. Very quaint. I ask you a few more questions? Please? The guy looks like a murderer. Take you long. Haven't got much time. <laughs> Take you long. Why did you run away the first time? The this guy's a weirdo. Nice lighting Where in his house. Sit? Oh, anywhere is fine. I uh, didn't quite catch your name. James, sit there. Thank you, James. <laughs> Wanker. <laughs> this guy's a weird, weirdo. Why are you asking me about Kate Pye? Routine. She's dead. You know Simon, don't you? Thompson. Why, what did he say? That oh, you all this went is the to guy? Together, you and Kate. Is that right? Might have done. This is the guy who sells the cobra right. to, I guess. 
Good enough. Might have done. Man, this guy is like, uh... Sheesh. When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? Can't remember. How did you know her? Uh, through Simon. Sounds His like girlfriend Paul was mates with her. Saw her around Can't college. remember. Did you socialize with her much? Nah. She wasn't my type. <laughs> uh, okay. Did socialize with her. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? Well, how do you know? <laughs> no idea. Of course not. Well, what do you know about Simon's bike? What bike? You haven't seen him on a bike? I haven't seen him. When was the last time you saw him? About a month ago. He said he doesn't see him that often. Uh, box of old bottles. Simon's homebrew. Have you uh, ever tried Simon's homebrew? <laughs> Thompson Star. Yeah, I've tried it. Did he sell it? Well, not to me. Not for money, anyway. We used to trade stuff. What did you trade? I'm not sure I want to know. Nice herbal tea, as it happens. Him and his girlfriend were into it. A herbal what tea. What was his beer like? Lethal. Strong. Knock your eyes out. Okay. Who gives a damn about this guy's homebrew? Ever seen one of these before? Freedom necklace. I don't think so. Should we ask this guy like, what do you do? For, like, what do you do for a living? Like. How old are you? Like, when's the last time you were alive? Like, this guy seems like a complete weirdo. Know anything about a broken window <coughs> at the pub? Excuse me. Don't go to the pub. You. Don't go to the pub. To the pub. <laughs> say that. Been to the pub, but not about two months, three You've months. You've never been to the pub? I don't believe that. Ever seen this before? No, what what a guy I acting like a moron? No, it's okay. Yeah, I've seen guys acting like morons before. Uh, Kate's argument. Know anything about, about an argument at the pub last Friday? No. <laughs> no. Well, what would he know? Ever seen one of these? Seen them around college. What do you know about it? Not much. It's a business course. Ask Simon. He's on it. You wouldn't be interested in that sort of thing. And you haven't discussed it with Simon. What does he do this Not game? Really. Business doesn't interest me. I don't get this at all. Alright, um... That's it, right? I mean, like... This guy hasn't seen anything helpful, said anything useful. Oh, it's okay, Jeremy. Uh, yeah, I don't think this guy said anything that's contradictory. He hardly said anything at all. Can't remember the last time he saw Kate... New case through Simon's girlfriend, didn't socialize with her, doesn't know he lost the license, doesn't know about his bike, last saw a month ago. Oh wait, it's, it's not worth asking about the screwdriver. Trade his herbal tea with Simon's homebrews, and Simon's homebrews very strong. Doesn't recognize the card, has been to the pub for over two months. Doesn't recognize the mask, doesn't know anything about the argument. See the poster at college, knows Simon's on the Atlas course. Hasn't discussed the course with Simon. Well, it says he hasn't. Last was Simon about a month ago. I mean, it's weird he didn't know about the bike, because he said the bike he's had a while, but I, I don't think this is going to count as a contradiction. Yeah. I don't think there's anything I can get this guy out either, unless, again, unless anybody else has any ideas here. Ah, uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. I think I have to just let him, let it go. What about this? Go up the steps. I'm like, I'm like searching in this guy's house now. Look in the greenhouse. Guessing the tea and homebrew are drugs. Yeah, well, probably. I mean, the homebrew, you know, is some kind of drug. Okay, I can search here. What the hell? Picture frames with black painted glass. Very interesting. He's gonna steal it? I guess he's took it. Or he didn't take it, but he, he noted it. 
It's in his notebook. All right, I'll go ask him about this picture frames. Glad I did this investigation. So understanding this game did not do well. I mean, I mean listen, he must have spent, regardless of the, my opinion on the acting, he must have spent a huge amount of money on, on, on this, all this video. I mean, it's not cheap to make these games. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. <laughs> There's no way this guy would answer any more questions. Now, what's all this stuff in the workshop? Paint and stencils and things like that. Just a little sideline of mine. Oh, you do picture framing. They're black mirrors. Scrying mirrors. Now, what's a scrying mirror? He's a I'll wicked. show you one if you want. <laughs> I'd be scared right now the guy's gonna pull a knife or a gun and shoot me. That's what this cop is like a really terrible cop. Scrying goes back centuries. The ancient Persians did it. This country <coughs> can still practice it. The fortune tellers pretend to do it. That's what the crystal ball's all about. It's way more it's interactive. Scrying. Mirror's just one way of doing it. But what is scrying? It's fortune telling you. Who you are. People do it for different reasons. People what do it for different reasons? reasons. Exploring your mind. Clearing your mind. Communicating with the dead. Is that what you use them for, James? Communicating with the dead. And they make them for other people these days. And there's a market for these, is there? Lots of people want to talk to the dead. Even if they don't believe in it. This guy's a do you weirdo. Make a on them? I don't do it for the money. How oh, very charitable of you. Can I keep this? <laughs> keep it. Thank you. I don't do it for the money anyway, so why not? Black mirrors and hookah pipes. I wonder what else James is into. Where, where was there hookah pipes? I didn't see hookah pipes. What are you guys saying here? He plays a cop in the shape-shifting detective. I think I have the shape-shifting detective. I think. I have to check if I have that one. <laughs> He's looking at all of his chief. He'd be like, you want to tell me private residences without a warrant? You took it's, he's not going to tell his chief, obviously. Jeremy says the newest game at Dead of Night is selling like hotcakes. So why? I wonder that's interesting. Um, is, I wonder how it got so much more publicity in this game. Maybe because in this game, he didn't pay off his Kickstarter backers. and They're all pissed off and nobody's playing it. And that game, he just just you know did it without Kickstarter. I wonder if that's the reason. All right, let me let me leave this. Be dude. back later on, if that's okay. No, please don't come back later on. Do I have a choice? No, you have no choice. We're coming back whether you like it or not. Do 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 do. Look, this guy strolls around. Do do. Call the chief. <laughs> the chief ever answer the phone ever? So much you call this number and see what happens. Oh, you got to run Quilton Northern? Oh, that's a shame. It's only been like an hour. Have a good night, though. Well, and I uh, hope to see you again soon on here. It has a huge budget. Oh, really? This That game is, feels like more of a big budget than this one? Yeah. <laughs> Ron, you're basically right. I mean, that is sort of what happens with, uh, with Kickstarter games. It's almost like throwing your money in, into a hole. See, one, one second, hang on. I'll be right back, give me one sec. Sorry about that. All right, so what else can we do here? I guess I got to go back and show, talk about that that stuff that he said to every other person that we that we know. Let's go bother all these people again. <laughs> he refills. I still need a flashlight. The black mirror would help me, like with the flashlight. I don't think. Ask about a few more things, please. Oh, she wouldn't know about the items in the workshop. Let's ask about the scrying mirror. Have you seen one of these before? Is it meant to be black like that? Yeah, I'll try, oh, Jamie. I think so. No. 
All right, that's not helpful. Okay, that's it for now. Thank let's, you. Let's go back and talk to the James, or not James, but uh, Simon, whatever his name is. Uh, right up North Lane. Hey, one more second. Sorry, one second. Sorry about that again. All right, won't, hopefully that won't happen again. All right, where are we going here? Back to uh, Woods Lane Village. Set. Where is? Where am I going? Uh, where am I? I want to go to Eden Lodge. Let's talk to Emma first this time. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Have you seen one of these before? Have you seen one of Is that from James? These? Oh, okay. What do you know about James? That he's creepy. <laughs> he was selling them last Friday at the market. There's, there's a market every week type thing. And uh, I usually go there for lunch. So you wouldn't buy one of these? No, I wouldn't. But Kate would. Was she uh, into this sort of thing? Mm. <laughs> no. Well, I, I, I don't think either. so. She bought one. And, uh, I went round to her flat to try it out. You're meant to see ghosts or spirits or something. It doesn't work. Okay, then. How do you use it? You're just meant to stare into it. Shall I show you? Yeah. Go ahead. Why not? Okay, so, you just... This is weird. You just stare, stare like this. Obviously, this guy likes, the creator likes and, supernatural uh, stuff. Then you see... Nothing. See what? Sorry. Um. <laughs> uh, look, uh, ugh, you, you're meant to see a ghost or something. Look, it doesn't work. What the hell? That's so weird. <sighs> Didn't work, so. What is... Jack's, that was really, really weird. <sighs> That's really weird. Well, what did she know about that? Okay. So James is creepy. She never mentioned James before, I don't think. New kid had bought a mirror. I don't think there's anything else here, right? Oh, she wasn't... She said she went home. For, but she went to the market. She, she said she went Thursday for lunch. She, Friday lunch, she was at the market. But Thursday night, she went over to see her parents. So that's a contradiction, isn't it? I'm sure she said that. Here we go. Aha. Aha. So, you went home to see your parents on Thursday night, that right? Uh, yes. But you said you saw James at the market on Friday. Yeah. Um, no, I went to, um, I went to see my parents on Friday night. Oh, now it's Friday night. What time did you go on Friday? Um, eight or nine. And you didn't see Kate at all on Friday? No. You're not a very good liar, Emma. <laughs> okay. Oh. I saw Kate. You're not I a very good actor, police officer. At the pub we were arguing. Oh. oh. What were you arguing about? Oh, now it's getting real. I, I'd lent her 50 pounds because she was desperate, and we were just arguing. It didn't really bother me. She just didn't have it. And Kate broke the window? Yes, she she did things like that, but she was angry. Why'd you lie about it then? Yes. So it was Emma arguing with Kate, but why didn't she want to admit it? Yeah. Just gave her a motive or something else. Yeah, but that's that's really that's really fishy. <coughs> Hold on. Argue the key in the pub last Friday night. Led money to Kate because Kate needed it. What was that? That was weird. Uh, knows about the broken pub window. Visit the pub Monday night with a friend. So she's a, she's a big liar. Okay. 
Okay. Anything else here? Cape with a lot of jewelry. Necklace is an unwanted gift. Doesn't like beer. So I'll use the bite to get to work. That's okay on Friday, not Thursday, so they edited it basically. Get up your usual self. Did see Kate very often. Alright, so I don't know if I can get anything else from her, but Thank she you. definitely is a Probably big liar. She's gonna arrest her right now and throw her in jail. Alright, what else do we got from him? Black scrying mirror. Ever seen one of these? <laughs> yeah, that's one of James's. He's into like new age stuff, mysticism, magic spells, that sort of thing. He's nuts though. I mean, he thinks the government. Are yeah, kidding, him. he's nuts. <laughs> Why would he think that? Well, I don't know. You'd it's funny. This him. guy looks so normal in the video, but in the picture of him at the beginning, he looked like a complete weirdo. James, new age mysticism. James thinks the government's tracking him. But what do you know about that? All right. Uh, so I can't like I can't um, like interrogate him about things that other people said. Apparently, like I can't like you know say hey you know Emma told me blah 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 that doesn't work, which is a little stupid. All right, let's leave here. Let's go back to the Thank you. Uh, probably be back later. Go back to the pub. I should have hopefully have more information to ask the the pub pub keeper about now. Uh, go back to North Road. Why does that keep flashing? Here's the pub. Ding, ding. The restaurant, nothing here, right? I just want to make sure. Like, there's nothing to look at here. It's like literally nothing. All right. Ding, ding, ding. A few more questions, please. All right. Let's ask about the black scribe mirror. Oh, I did already. I forgot. I haven't asked about this, though. I forgot about it. What do you know about this? It's an advertisement. They have it designed by an agency, I think. Um, when was that? Last year sometime. I would have let them in. I, I would be like... I, I think I would, like, leave town if the officer kept coming to my house. Or I had the poster designed by agency. The poster was designed last year. Who cares? Uh, Kate's argument... Takes the mask as Ryan's. Two girls outside, alright. Kate broke the window. That's even more recently. So Simon, blah blah blah. I haven't seen the license before. Didn't know Kate very well. Asked okay to the pub last Friday. Didn't see who Kate was with. All right. It's weird that she gave Kate 20 pounds for a breakage, but she didn't have 50, 50 pounds to pay back the friend. That seems a little bit weird, but there's nothing I can do to cut to, to, to you That's know, all for the moment. complain Thank about you. that. Let's leave the pub. How do I get the time to advance? There's still nothing I could do here, right? Enter the outbuilding. That's just, I took the lock off. I just leave it unlocked now, it looks like. Uh, but, I, oh, and it doesn't even give me an option to look it back there now. The arrow's, like, gone away completely. So either I don't have to look there, or I need to come back when I actually have something I can, I can use. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. And like I said, I'm assuming the, the, Black mirror is not going to do anything. No. All right. We are making progress, though. This is this is this is this is decent progress here. We're not re so far. We've not really gotten st completely stuck or anything like that yet. So since I said that, it's going to happen right now. And this keep, they keep giving us the option to walk over here. There's nothing here. I don't know why we have this option. There's literally nothing here. And no reason to go there either. I 
can go back to the, the dude and talk to him again. And I will do that, actually. Back to Abbey Farm. I'm not sure I have anything else to say to him. I think I feel like I've said everything already there is to say. Let's do this one more time. Make sure I don't miss anything here. Come on, creepy James. Crying very, you know, you're selling me coke mirrors. You're probably right. I'd be like... I don't get what that was when she was like looking at it and then she didn't know anything to say about it. That was weird just by itself. Alright, go back down the steps. Look at the filming going up the steps, going down the steps. It's not that many filming, I guess, I'll but ask you a couple more things, it's enough. Alright, nothing else. Is unless I can get a contradiction. See the poster at college. Let's discuss the course. I don't think there's anything to do here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna see if, later on, if, that's if I okay. go back to the, uh, the the Atlas place. Maybe that place is open now. But it was open before. Maybe I can actually go in there. Let's just try to fast travel here. I really hope there's something to do here. That's annoying. Let me in. Hmm. Nothing in here at all. It's a reading room and there's nobody here. Nothing to do here. All right. I guess I have to go back. And there's probably some contradiction I missed. I mean, that's I, the only thing I think of Ryan is I, I'll walk around one more time to see if there's anything that shows up. Like before that guy all of a sudden appeared by the lake, James. He wasn't there before. So let me see if anything else like mysteriously shows up. And if not that, then it has to be there's another contradiction that I that I that I didn't catch. I like how these videos actually move, like there's leaves bl li leaves blowing around and stuff like that. That's pretty cool, actually. Left the jetty. I'm sure there's nothing here, but I'm just looking anyway. This is where the guy was sitting there. There's nothing here. Woods Lane... I guess it's at 8 p.m. was when uh, this thing opens up, right? Oh, even the lodge is where those two idiots live. I don't have anything else for them, I don't think. A few more questions, if you don't mind. He already told me everything he has to say. Went straight home after Atlas last Friday. Doesn't really visit the pub. He only sold the whole brew to James. That's weird by itself, by the way. Bike blocks Simon's cousin. Bikes all the way Simon get to work. What about the license? That's okay at the Atlas meeting on Friday. She wants to see drunken Atlas. And socialize. I don't think there's anything. I don't. I don't think there's anything here. Ryan and Paul run the Atlas course. All right, let's go to her Thank over you. time. Probably be back later. James is creepy. James was selling the last Friday. You can't have a mirror. Demonstrate the mirror so the mirror doesn't work. Went to the Atlas seminar. Even Spider Jenks is competing so alone. Went to the Atlas seminar with Simon. Only once to Atlas. I've been in a similar course before. Knows Rebecca quite well. Went to Power after college. Already came to the Power last night. 
Let money to camping is can't need it. I haven't seen the mask before. There's the poem on the other friend. Necklace is Emma's, which she gave to Kate. Call her freedom necklace. Kate wants a new jewelry. Doesn't like beer. Balls went to Simon. Mike blows Simon's cousin. Simon used the bike to work. Keep telling Simon to fix the lock. I don't think so, Ryan. That's the kids while she drives her license. Let's get her Friday. She appeared her usual self. It's so argumentative. She had a drink problem at college. But she appeared her usual self. That's not true. Well, that was on Thursday, she appeared to be her usual self, so I mean, that is true. Think about she needed money. She was desperate for cash. That that by itself is weird. She's desperate for cash and she offered more jewelry. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So you lent money to Kate because she was desperate, but she bought loads of jewelry and things. So why were you lending her money? Well no, it's because um it, well, it's... it wasn't about money, was it, Emma? No. <laughs> what a liar this girl oh. is. What was it really about? We were arguing because yeah, drink she was going too. to blackmail Ryan, the guy from Atlas, over an affair he was having and then tell his wife if he didn't give her the money. Ryan's affair with Kate? No, I don't know. I think he was having an affair with another student and Kate found out. And why were you involved? Because I didn't really agree with it. I didn't agree with what she was doing, even if he did have an affair. Were you friends with Ryan? No, I'd never met him. You just thought Kate was wrong? Yeah. Hmm, not sure about this. Emma's either on a moral crusade, or there's another reason she was worried about Kate blackmailing Ryan. I mean, she's, she, she's sleeping with Ryan. This is really weird. This, they, they, he should just—he should just bring her in on like general principles. She's like a huge liar. She lied like three times already. It's like you're, this is very suspicious. We're gonna bring you in for questioning. Maybe I can go now and talk to Ryan finally. Maybe I should tell uh, the, uh, the, the the wife about the cheating. Necklace was an unwanted gift from who? Maybe from Ryan. A moral crusade. <laughs> if somebody was flying planes, I'd not be cool with it. Yeah, you're probably right. It's never met Ryan. I think, that, I think that's suspicious, even though I have no proof. Never met Ryan. Shit, she went to Atlas one time. I mean, so how could she never have met him? I mean, it's the, uh, the other one. What did Atlas said I was Simon? Aha. Uh -huh. You said you went to an Atlas meeting with Simon. Yes. That's interesting, because I happen to know that Ryan is the main lecturer at Atlas. You Look at her face. Meeting. Why did you say you don't know him? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I, I, need, I need to tell you something. I just <laughs> need to make sure Simon doesn't find out. I okay. won't be telling Simon anything he doesn't have to hear. And you can't tell Rebecca either. <laughs> Go on. Okay, so the affair that happened was, <laughs> was between Ryan and I. Is it over now or still going on? I was having the affair. And Kate knew. So Kate was blackmailing both of you? No. She didn't care about me. It was part of the course, you see, having to take all these risks. She thought it was funny to turn her back on Ryan. 
She thought I wouldn't care. But you did. Yes, I was already with Simon when Ryan and I, you know, and... <laughs> I wonder if we'll just go tell Simon yeah, straight away about this. I that he wouldn't, but I didn't want her risking it. I don't blame you. And then if Rebecca found out, then Simon would definitely have found out, and then it would have blown up and it would have just been a big mess. So you, so you killed her. just argued and... So you killed her. <sighs> well, she just stormed off and broke a window. And that was it. You didn't see her again that night? No. That's what a liar. Are you sure? She'd be like, if yes. I, you'd be like, if I catch you lying one more time, you're going to jail for a long time. Uh, that advanced the clock. Seven o'clock. So, Ryan's a bit of a Lothario, is he? I think it's time I met this Ryan Rand face to face. Ryan, you bastard. This is your fault. What have you been doing with this, with this woman? Don't you know she's married? Dude, like, this is not okay. <laughs> she's too obvious to someone else. Yeah, I agree. All right, it's been an hour and a half. Um, I'm, not, I'm still to play. I'll play a little bit longer, but it's probably probably starting to wind down here. Let me go back to Atlas, though. I want to meet this this this, this evil man named Ryan. All Ryans are no good. We already determined that. <laughs> Listen, I went to Britain. I did some things. Maybe now Ryan will finally answer when I knock on his door. Oh, okay. Ryan. <laughs> Detective Inspector Jenks, I'm conducting an investigation in the area. He walks in. Asking you a few questions, all right? <sighs> Come in, Inspector. <laughs> He's like, I guess I have no choice. <laughs> Damn. Why is his office in the lounge? That's weird. Like, why is the lounge door locked? <laughs> <laughs> Drink, Inspector. I better not, eh? So weird. So you wanted to speak to me? I believe that uh, Kate Vine was a student at Atlas. Oh, look at his face. Kate Vine? Well, yes, she was. <laughs> Jeremy said it. Why are the odds? It was halfway through the game when it was suicide. Still died. Well, we have reason to believe there may be rather more to it than that. Really? Look at this guy. Well, then, in that case, I'd be prepared to assist in any way possible. You look so suspicious, dude. You look really suspicious. Don't you realize that? I want you to take a lie detector test. That's how that's how you can help me. <laughs> Be with the cop for worse facial expressions. Alright, what do you know about this fake woman? I believe the last time you saw Kate Vine was at the pub last Friday, then you came straight back with some of the students, is that right? Uh, yes, I like to have a glass of port or two after a long day, and <laughs> benefits of being married to the landlady. How did she seem that? He's night? creepy. The landlady. Kate. Oh, Kate. Uh, well, she was her usual self, drunk. That was usual. It was for her. She looks yes. familiar. I mean, it it's didn't like her her ability, bit. though. She was a very bright star, lots of potential, very enthusiastic. So she seemed to be enjoying the course. Well, as far as anybody could tell, yes. When did you first meet her? Uh, when she joined, about three months ago. And you hadn't met her before then? No. So you didn't suspect there was anything wrong? Well, do you mean did I expect her to drown herself? Of course I didn't inspect her. It was quite a shock. Nobody expected that. His facial expressions are really off. Jeremy says, this is why personally I think the game would do very well. It was too long and the pace was terribly done. Also, the actors are really not very good. Uh, let's ask about this. Have you seen this? Why do you even know about her driver's license? Except for the except for the pub, you know, honestly. You don't know whether Kate had lost this or not. I, I, no, I, I've never seen. I, it. I, 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 I have no idea what you're talking about, Inspector. Does Simon Thompson ride a bike? Do you know? It's eight hours I long. So, yes, I, I think he drives. You're going to end well, the stream, Jeremy. Mistaken. Like everyone's going to leave. <laughs> what do you say? Simon rides a bike, but he also drives. But he's not sure. Possible bottles, Simon's homebrew. Have you tried Simon's homebrew? Does he make homebrew? <laughs> Have no, you tried his homebrew? Okay. Yeah, it's about the freedom necklace. Know what this is? It's a card. Yes. It's a freedom necklace. Uh, it's a symbol that we use on the course. 
It's supposed to represent freedom from the chains of your ancestry. <laughs> I never see them have those drawers like bought one of these? I haven't, but I've seen the students wearing them. Symbol use on the course, but you never bought one? That's a little bit weird. What do you know about the broken window at the back of the pub? Oh, uh, Rebecca told me about it. I don't know how it got smashed, though. It's really relevant. Ask about the affair. to tape over it. We can't have anybody cutting themselves. Yeah, you can actually fix it. Oh, Probably a good idea. conscious these days. Why don't you fix it, Dan Wood, though? You've, like, you own this whole, like, you know, cult, you know? You put the forward. Okay. Can you tell me about this? Haven't seen that for a while. They had a friend who used to make them for us for the course. He passed away last year. What does the uh, symbol mean? Uh, it's borrowed from paganism. It's the symbol of the triple goddess. The mother, maiden, and crone, represented by the waxing and waning of the moon. Interesting. Uh, it's an ancient symbol. It predates Christianity. Some people say that it dates back to Paleolithic times. And is that uh, relevant to the course? Well, no, no, no. I mean, it, it's a symbol we, we dabbled with, but it's not particularly relevant. We don't use it on the course, no. This is so weird. Okay. Do you know anything about an argument in the pub last Friday? At what time? I believe it wasn't long after the pub opened. No. I usually leave for the manor house about six. Uh, I start preparations around 6.30. I like to get a head start. This guy looks very familiar, but I don't know why. Look, he, he here's another typo. He used you so he leaves for Atlas at 6 p.m. Tell me about this. Yes, Jeremy, that was me. Ah, yes, uh... That's the first one we ever had made. <laughs> we had it designed by an agency after we'd spent weeks trying to trying to find a name for this place. It took you weeks? I don't like that, Inspector. I thought it was a rather grand name. Actually, if I'm being honest, I plucked it out of thin air one night in the George while I was having a few gin and tonics. What's well, the George? left a book and I stole it. I admit to stealing to a cop. That's a great idea. All right. The Black Mirror. Have you seen one of these before? I believe that uh, looks like a scrying mirror to me. You have seen one before? Hmm. Well, I, I, I used to have one myself, actually, along with lots of other bits and pieces of that nature. Silly <laughs> things, you know. Better, really? Uh, yes, I, when I was in my teenage years, <laughs> I had quite an obsession with that kind of thing. I, uh, I was a very somber child. Seriously, uh, this well, is... Not that you could tell. Was always playing who? fantasy games. I think these guys are competing for who could be the worst kind of actor here. Malarkey, you know. What sort of books did you read? Well, uh, Books on black magic, I said, not the chocolates. Um, which chocolates called satanic black magic? Rituals, that kind of thing. I, I grew out of it, of course. But you're not into that sort of thing now. <laughs> of course I'm not. Uh, I mean, I don't need to believe in the supernatural inspector. The natural world is far more interesting. Don't look, you think so? Look at how creep this guy is. Look on his face like this, like, like. I can't even do it. Like, he looks, his, his teeth are so weird. Wait, so why could they say anything about... Why could they ask him about the affair? Why is that not an option here? I have to, like, get him to... Oh, he was, in, he was actually in Doctor Who. Interesting. I, I, why could they ask him about the stuff that I already was told about? Uh, let's see, is, is there any actual contradiction to what he already said? Birdcage. Never bought a freedom necklace. Since students wearing the necklace. I'm asking my friend who died last year. Triple goddess. Not used on the course. Goes about the window. Not how it got broken. Told her I could tape over it. Doesn't have to argue with the pub. Usually is at this 6 p.m. Did he say he was at the pub? Like at 7? Did he say he went to the pub after or something? But. He saw it. I thought he said he saw Kate at the pub, but it's not one of the options. Not one of the actual things here. I'm pretty sure he saw that because he said he said the guy said to him like, "What did you think of her?" And he said, "Oh, it'd be the the the, the, the barkeep, or whatever." And he said, "No, no, no, Kate." So that doesn't make any sense, but that's not an option. 
I've never seen the license before. It doesn't have to lost the license. Uh, okay. Simon, this. Bottles. Come on. Freedom necklace. Knows about the window, not how it got broken. Triple goddess. Doesn't know about the argument in the pub. Okay. Meetings for Alice at 6 p.m. Starts preparation for Alice at 6.30 p.m. But doesn't open the door until 7 p.m. apparently. He used to have Black Mirror himself. He used to read about black magic and static rituals. Doesn't believe in anything supernatural now. I don't think there's any contradiction here. Anybody think of anything that I didn't think of? I mean, this is a little bit weird. She was drunk at the meeting, but she didn't expect any emotional problems. That apparently is not a contradiction. <laughs> Uh, he said he went to the pub, though. The, this is, I don't understand the, I don't understand the timeline of this. Like, the pub doesn't even open till six o'clock, and he leaves. He leaves the pub at six o'clock to go. The timing of this doesn't really make sense to me, but I don't see what the contradiction is. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. But I feel like I'm missing something. Let's see if anything showed up at the door on the right. What's the point of this room? There's nothing here. Huh. I have to knock on it again if I go back in. Okay, just let me uh, just let you in. Questions, if you don't mind. I feel like I'm missing something. I'm gonna look one more time. Let's start with the bottom. Doesn't believe in anything supernatural. Used to be about black magic and satanic rituals. I'm asking by a friend who died last year. Triple, he spelled goddess wrong also. Symbol not used on the course. Atlas name picked randomly. Random choice taken from a book. A book that he stole. Knows about the window now, it got broken. Yeah, I don't think so. Cage to simply do the course. See the students wearing the necklace. Yeah, I don't think that's it. I think that's it. Thank you. Probably All right. back later. You know what? It's I think now's a good time to stop here. It's it's getting late. Um, and I'm, I haven't, like, I haven't run out of tiny things to do. I'd probably just walk around the town and, and talk to some more people again. But I feel like this is a good stopping point. We finally got to meet this creepazoid. Um, and maybe I'll continue this tomorrow. I, I don't know. I'm actually not sure if I want to continue this tomorrow or if I want to do something completely different tomorrow. I could do this later in the week. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm torn. If anybody has any votes, let me know. But yeah, no, Ryan, thank you for joining, and, and uh, Jeremy, thanks for joining as well. Thanks to all those who are here. I know there's a bunch of lurkers here right now, and, and thanks for watching it later. I think I'll continue it tomorrow, but I'm, I'm not sure. Jeremy actually discouraged me a little bit by saying it's eight hours long, because it's, it's, it's fun. I'm having a good time, 
but it's not like so exciting it just sort of feels like it's dragging a little bit and the, the mechanic of having to always like question everybody is a little bit limited oh see here's nothing else happened now do you mind not defacing public property please what's it to you well i'm a policeman and that's supposed to make what difference exactly it means you do exactly what I tell you to do. Or what? Or you arrest me? I'll kick no, your I'll butt. give you a fine this time. So, if I do something that you don't like, I have to give you some money. What happens if you do something that I don't like? You're going to give me some money? Look, <laughs> that was... I do not have time to discuss it at the moment. Can you just go? <laughs> kick his butt. Pathetic. Yeah, I agree. Pathetic. <laughs> well, this is like the worst cop ever. It was a devil sign. <laughs> you should what grab his new game. brat. But why would he carve that into a tree? Either he's a diehard rock fan, or there's more to that symbol than meets the eye. Okay. See, that's the thing. You gotta like sort of wander around for stuff to happen. That's what we're just experiencing here. Public property is a tree. <laughs> I want to finish this game first, Jeremy. I'm not going to stream this new game until I'm in the middle of this game. And then, by the way, it's not cheap. It was like 15 bucks when I checked. It's not cheap. Oh, under 20 bucks is cheap. Under 20 bucks is cheap for like a physical game, but for for a digital game that like in two months will be on sale for five dollars is not so cheap in my opinion. So I don't know. But I, I will if if this game if I finish this game and I and I'm okay with it, then I will get that one as well. But I probably will wait for it to go on sale. Anyway, I think that's it for now. I'm going to stop here. I think I will continue tomorrow. I'm, I'm having sort of a good time. So let's, let's plan to pick this up tomorrow. And thanks everyone for watching. And we'll do this again soon. Thanks everybody. And uh, have a good night. Thanks Jeremy. Thanks Ryan. Thanks everyone else. Talk to you guys later. Peace out.